this. We're at the Salvation Army, and I still run into a principal. It happens all the time. I guess the state's name. Mike Embrock. See, we got Mike from North Iowa Buffalo Center. Right? Go Bison, you bet. <laughs> Go Bison. <laughs> Yeah, so how many how many students are in the... Uh... We brought six kids with us here today. Oh, you did? Yep, we oh, brought six okay. kids with us total today. Plus Excellent. me, yeah, if you want to call me a kid. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> just a big kid that doesn't do any work. <laughs> At the Salvation Army, we got uh, Mike from North Iowa at uh, Buffalo Center. How many how many schools are involved now with North Iowa? Um, with the North Iowa Conference, we have at least six of our schools that come to this thing. Help out. Well, I think we had two schools yesterday, and this four schools today: Lake Mills, Mills City, us, and uh, uh, the, oh, New Mason City. So we got four schools here today. Now, now, how do you choose on what students come out? To? How about these things? Well, for North Iowa School High School, we've just done a, a bunch of different things. This year, I just took random volunteer people that wanted to help out and be involved. In the past, we've done uh, like a canned food drive and uh, the home room or the, the group with the most canned goods, they get a chance to come and help out for the, in the nick of time uh, community service. Drive. So we've done different things. And of course, it's an extra day off of school. Yeah, the, kid, the kids don't seem to mind that too bad that they get a day off of school. But, you know, I promote it heavily because every group of kids I bring or that come, they just enjoy the experience. It's great. They can't imagine, they're always amazed at how many toys, all the activity, all the work that goes into putting this together. There's a, I mean, I, I, I've said it before, but man, there is just a ton of toys here this year. I mean, the stacks and stacks and wow. Yeah, I mean, you are literally, you have just piles and piles of toys and sorting them and get in where they need to go so it's in a presentable fashion uh, so families can kind of make things up and yeah it's fun for the kids even me again kid at heart there's all kinds of stuff you're like oh wow look at this we got Jenga you know things like that and you come across some pretty cool things but uh, yeah it's it's amazing how many toys and uh, how kind people are to uh, donate and uh, to give during this time of year so well and all the food even gets uh, stacked up real nice too right that's uh boy they, they got it into just uh you know, they're very organized. Uh, Mr. Schulbrock and Lake Mills has got them going with the, with the food over there, and they, they're just like an assembly line. They just run through all the boxes of food, and it's amazing what, what they put into what, even one box. A lot of good stuff. So, out of the toys that you see here, what's your favorite toy? Oh, you know, there was the, uh, anything with Legos, of course, is a favorite of mine. But there was uh, the headband scheme. So, I did see a, a, there was a, a saucer over there, a the sled, that I think I should try out later. We'll see if we have time to do that. I bet his house is dressed up like the Griswolds, too. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of that going on. <laughs> we still got time. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mike. You bet. Thank you. All right, we're hanging around here. We'll talk more with uh, some other students, and also uh, we'll get to uh, Principal Schulbrock coming up here in just a bit as well.